Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine Lee here for those of you who don't know me. And today's video is going to be all about facing rejection. Dun dun dun! No, just kidding. <laughs> Rejection is something that we all tend to be very fearful of. Um, it's something we all tend to avoid as much as possible. But I do want to let you guys know it's a very normal part of life. Like rejection just comes with the territory of the human experience. Now, no, that does not make it hurt any less. The sting is still there and some forms of rejection last forever, such as that um, of being rejected by like a parent or your first love or you know a, a significant relationship in your life that kind of rejection is always going to sting a little bit but um if you do the work the inner work and the mental work that it takes to heal and build up your resilience levels and your overall confidence and mentality it makes the blow of rejection a lot easier to stomach and take so the purpose of today's video is to help you guys understand that there are there is a way to build a positive relationship with rejection um maybe not positive that's probably not the word i'm looking for like a healthy relationship with rejection and so that's what we're gonna get into so go ahead and stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you catch the vibe all right so as a model um i face rejection pretty often there are times where i'll hear back from casting directors or photographers or whomever else and they'll be like okay sorry you're you know just not what we're looking for we chose to go with someone else just like with any other job um submission you're not always going to be the it girl i know the internet makes it look like everybody the it girl but everybody's not the it girl okay i will tell i'll be the first one to tell you okay um <laughs> Now, although dating is a lot different, um, rejection and the core of what comes with that, which is pain and hurt feelings, is still the same. Whether you're rejected from a job, a freaking baby who you say hi to when they don't say hi back, um, you know, uh, a lover, potential lover, um, family, like you can get rejected from every angle. And when I tell you I've dealt with it from every angle, I'm the best girl to talk to about it. Um, I don't wear it on my sleeve, but there's a reason for that. So we're about to get into that in just a moment. If you're looking for ways to overcome or deal with the projection in healthy ways, go ahead and stay tuned. Now, reason number one, why I say reason? A few moments later. <laughs> um, focus number one is building your self-esteem. Now, it doesn't mean that because your self-esteem is high or you're more confident, rejection won't hurt you. That's not what that means. It just means that you can sustain a certain level of um, even temperament and level-headedness despite someone telling you no or that they don't like you or that they don't like something about you, that they don't want to be your friend, your lover, whatever. Like, you can sustain a certain level of stability within yourself. Rejection shouldn't um, break you in a sense it should just kind of be like again because it's a normal part of life it's just be like oh okay you know take your moment to gather yourself to cry or whatever you need to do depending on what it did to you and then get back out there get back in the ring um and that's you know hashtag mamba mentality like we don't take no l's over here blessings and lessons so when it comes to building your self-esteem you want to be aware of what you bring to the table that way if someone rejects you it's not to say that they're missing out because i don't really like subscribe to that mentality either like everyone who don't who choose not to deal with you is not an l sometimes things just don't match up that's okay <laughs> the things we try to tell ourselves to uh soothe ourselves from like the idea of rejection is also crazy but yeah it's not always an l but you do want to remind yourself as yourself that you are you know worthy of whatever it is you're seeking to get um remind yourself of any accomplishments that you've had remind yourself of the type of person that you are so that when someone tells you you know i don't like you because of this or i don't like you because you do or don't do that or you are or aren't that you can reject that thought you can literally reject them you know right back like okay that's what you might see because perception is in the eye you know of the beholder everyone has a different perception of the same situation sometimes so um just know that it's not that concrete you could literally reject 
the thought that they try to put on you you can project a projection that people try to put on you like i do that all the time just build your self-esteem and that will help mentally strengthen you um as you go through life's low blows which is rejection it comes with it i promise you you also want to take calculated risks now i know guys don't seem to be too good at this you want to read the room if there's an opportunity you're going for a person that you're about to go for um you know a family member that you're around take a calculated risk as it pertains to family sometimes you can't get away from them but what you can do is you can make sure that you um if you need to get along what do they say go along to get along if you got to do that around certain people feel free to do that it's a survival tactic it's not always like it shouldn't always be you being fake like it's a survival tactic in in an instance like family where you can't get away i could see where you have more autonomy in other situations but it's literally family sometimes some some people can't get away and go move out on their own or whatever so if you got to go along to get along and tone and temper certain parts of your personality do whatever it works for you as it pertains to um you know dating and friends just again calculated risk in this instance would be why do i like this person what is it that i like about them and why am i so hardcore pressed to be in their lives when they're not so hardcore pressed to be in mine um those are the types of things you want to do you also want to read the room oh and what i meant when i said men don't seem to be too good at this is you want to read people's body languages you want to read how receptive they are to you i i'm a firm believer and this is only because i pay attention to detail and i pay attention to the energy around me and you can kind of you can kind of perceive when someone is kind of closed off to you or they don't want to be bothered or anything like that and sometimes it's not even personal you could perceive when someone just closed off period and if that's the case don't talk to them don't say anything to them leave them alone um work environments don't necessarily count again there are certain situations where you have to go along to get along and work is one of them so be cordial and keep it pushing but as it pertains to friends and lovers potential lovers you don't have to do it you don't question why you're there and question why you so pressed and if the answers don't match anything like there's nothing concrete or tangible that they've given you to want to pursue that you need to go you need to like leave them alone or you need to dip number three and four that i'm about to give you are ones that i personally have struggled with and do struggle with at my lower vibrational moments number uh three is don't dwell and basically what that means is you don't want to sit in the rejection like it's already painful enough that you're feeling it without you sitting like oh what was me and having a whole pity party about it there are over 7 billion 8 billion people in the world so one rejection 10 rejections is like literally a drop in the bucket like there's so much out there for us to explore as it pertains to people love relationships family friendships and whatever else there's so much to see and do and if your dedication to yourself is to create a better experience for yourself i promise you you'll get by and it'll be easier as the days go on sometimes when we stay in like a closed mindset and we feel like all that's in front of us is all that's there that's where you trick yourself into not even trick yourself that's where you cheat yourself into um what am i trying to say <laughs> i'm having a glitch right now y'all um that is where you cheat yourself out of the totality of an abundant experience here on earth like you're supposed to live an abundant life. You're supposed to have everything you want, but sometimes everything you want is not everything you need or it's not good for you or may not be time yet. And you have to just back up, don't dwell on that and be like, okay, where else can I put my focus to um, just maintain? Cause sometimes it's about, again, survival. You can't sit there and, and pout about why you didn't get your way on to the next, literally. Oh, and when it comes to not dwelling, you have to have an athlete's mentality as it pertains to that. Athletes, when they lose, they don't sit there and ruminate over why they lost. Now, they might watch a game tape, 
they might watch a game tape just to identify their flaws but that's not to kick their own asses as to dang i messed up there i should have did that i should have hit that layup i missed the touchdown then it was so obvious you know like they don't do that they look at like okay this is what i did they're studying their reel they're studying their weaknesses and amplifying those strengths so that when they show up the next time strategic win you feel me it makes it that much more easier when you think of it in terms of strategy what did I do wrong this time and how can I do better the next time think like an athlete when it comes to life you got to think like an athlete period so you want to focus inward now there are two ways you do this one way is healthy and the other way is not so healthy I personally uh, between maybe August and December when I dealt with a, a kind of painful rejection um, I took the not so healthy route initially where I was replaying over and over again what I could have done wrong, what I could have said wrong, you know, thinking everything was about me and it genuinely wasn't. Um, just literally just going in on myself, beating myself up about it and that is the completely unhealthy way to deal with it. Now the healthy way to go inward is to um, figure out what parts of your character that you can build up in the meantime. You know, it's kind of conjoins with the self-esteem part, like thinking about what other areas of my life are lacking, whether it be finances, whether it be career, whether it be friendships, whether it be family, like what else can I strengthen? You know, if this dating thing or this job isn't going the way I want, can I strengthen the relationship with my kids? You know, can I, what other area can I give 110% to since I didn't really get what I wanted over here? Like there's always something that you could be focused on um, for the better, something more constructive to focus on. And so um, shout out to my friend Shaquille because he actually helped me a lot with that in terms of getting off of the rejection and moving into a space of you know, focusing on me, focusing on my career ambitions, focusing on the creativity that I have, um, just really going inward and picking up everything that I like to do. And again, guys, facing rejection is not easy. It's genuinely not. And um, based on like the timing of different events in your life, certain rejections are gonna hurt more than others. Certain ones may feel like they'll stick around longer than others. But again, the epitome um, of this message is that, the epitome, I don't know if that's the right word to use. The overall point of the message that I need you to grasp is that rejection is a part of life. It's going to happen and there's a lot about life that we can't change in terms of what happens to us. So what we have to change is up here. So you have to change what you think. You have to change how you respond to it. You have to change, you know, the environment you're in. If you if it's in your power and your control to change, identify that and change that. Don't try to change other people's situations outside of you, people's thoughts about you. That don't got nothing to do with you. All you can change is how you think about yourself, how you show up in your day to day, and what you can do moving forward to avoid what you went through in your past. And that's that on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And I have a lot more videos to kick out, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, the next one is most likely going to be about moving on. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Go ahead and watch my other two videos, which I will have linked up in the cards. And have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye!